a very good day to all purchase order of higher value is split into purchase orders of smaller values to ensure that the approval that is required for a purchase order is minimal and this is used to circumvent the approval that is required for a higher value purchase order some time back uh, we had made a video wherein we showed how the splitting of purchase order can be identified using excel using different formulas that can be used in excel to make it further simpler we thought that uh, we can put up a power query template wherein you can update the base data in a format and then refresh the data so that you get the exceptions without much of the uh, excel work let us see how that can be done the first thing would be to update the uh, file path the folder and the path where uh, the base file is going to be available you will be seeing this excel file in a, as a zip folder uh, in the link that is given below you can unzip the contents and let's take the path so uh, be careful that this will have an additional space so ensure that you don't take the additional space so you can you can uh, right click and go to properties or alt enter uh, is the shortcut alt enter you can go to security you can copy this path uh, wherever you put this file in in your system and you just paste it and you can ensure that uh, you don't uh, you ensure that you have the slash in the end and then you can copy paste the file name Okay. so that's that's step 2 once you unzip the file ensure that you update the path where the file is now let's go to pivo approvals here you can update the level of approval that is required as per the approved delegation of authority or the approved uh, delegation of powers delegation of authority uh, or the pivo approval you can update so from 0 to 2 lakhs say one level of approval is required you can just make it as level 1 Uh, let's say that uh, I, I I want to make it as one lakh, and let's say so one lakh one to let's say two lakh fifty thousand. Level two, uh, the level of approval is of two is required. The second level is required, and so so on and so forth. And let's assume that sixteen lakh is the maximum value that you are uh, that is there for approval. Um, so in your data, you can identify the maximum PO value. and you can put that value or you can ensure that that's the value that is updated here as the as the largest two value so beyond that beyond this beyond this value that should not be any pivo uh, data or any pivo value in your base data now let us see the base data what is expected to be updated in this in this pivo split base data you can put a vendor code or a vendor name Uh, we would suggest to put a vendor code so that it is it is easier to uniquely identify that because if the vendor name is a similar name is or if the same name is available or if the data has duplicate vendors that would be picked up wrongly so you can you can probably have a vendor uh, vendor code uh, in place of a vendor name and the po number po date po value this is the header information if the pivo has multiple uh, materials you can probably pivot it and ensure that you get the header information in terms of the pivo value and reference 1 2 3 4 5 is something which you can put for your reference any any data uh, that will help you to identify a particular row or any identifier that you want to put for a particular row that can be updated here so this will give the header data and this is the data that you are expected to feed in so once you put this data and you update the path and you update the values that is required now let's say that the the uh, case that i had already run had about 290 cases where there was differences let's let's run this so you can go to data and you can go to refresh all if you see that uh, sorry i think the file is open so let me close this file so you need to close the file refresh all you you will be seeing on the bottom left that running query running background query and it is done 
So we had about 290 cases. Now you have about 588 cases of exceptions. Now there are two sheets which are the output sheets. What are those sheets? The, the different approvals will give me the instances where there, there has been a duplicate, uh, oh, sorry, where there has been a uh, case where uh, multiple POs have been raised uh, which breaches the approval required. Let's take let's take one example. This vendor code. Let, let me see in the PO split workings, which is which is basically the uh, line item details. So I am going to select for this vendor and 9th of January. If I'll just filter for 9th of January, I have three cases, right? So in this case, this vendor code, this multiple POs obviously in the same date, three POs have been raised. Now, what is the level that we had given is 1 lakh. So, if you see each of the value is less than 1 lakh, but if you see consolidated value, that obviously is more than 1 lakh. So, this is the uh, reference 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is whatever you give there and this, this will give me the level that it is required. So, if I, if I consider individual values, level 1 needs to approve, but if I consider Consolidated value level two is required, which is one lakh seventy five thousand. Level two is one lakh to two lakh fifty thousand. So it comes under level two. So I have a case where uh, for the same vendor on the same date multiple POs have been raised. Uh, it's not just multiple POs has been raised, but because of this uh, multiple POs being raised, it has breached. The, it has breached the level of approval that is required. So if I have multiple POs, let's say uh, 30,000, 40,000 and say 10,000, so totaling to about 80,000, that will not come in as an exception because even if I combine all the three, that will continue to be less than 1 lakh for which anyway level 1 approval is taken. So that's the way in which this is, uh, this is, this is done. So you can probably uh, update the files and, and uh, this is very, very important that you update the values accurately and also the uh, two value that is the maximum value, the maximum PO value is updated as the two value, the last row in the two value. Uh, I hope that you will find this useful. Thank you and good day.